Michael Dines here at Little Conejo, going through another mezcal tasting with you all. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Um, leave a comment below if you, if you enjoyed it, if you didn't, if I mispronounced something, if you want a little more information about something, if I was totally off base, let me know. I'd love to interact more uh, with anybody watching the video. Um, thanks to Janelle once again for putting this together and having this great idea to do these. Uh, they've been a lot of fun so far and I'm looking forward to this month's featured brand, Del Maguey. This brand you've probably seen before, one of the more recognizable bottles and labels on the market. Um, it's no surprise that an artist started this brand. Uh, his name is Ron Cooper. He started bringing uh, these beautiful expressions of mezcal into the States in the late 90s. Um, he was a visionary and he wanted to focus on the place where they came from because he found that they were so different from place to place, even though they were using the same agave, uh, which is one thing that really inspired me to learn more about it because I was kind of naive looking at the back bar thinking, oh, those must be different varieties of agave. Um, and then the more I found out it was just there's so much terroir and tradition and history behind all of these different expressions of mezcal and all these families that are making it. Um, it's a really wonderful thing. Ron has since sold his stake of the brand, but that's another story for a different video. Um, I'm tasting the San Luis del Rio. This one is made uh, in San Luis del Rio uh, next to El Ria Hormiga, Colorado, the Red Ant River, uh, a beautiful place. Um, it's about four and a half hours southeast of Oaxaca City. Uh, I encourage you to visit if you're ever there. Um, it's just a really lush, fertile, magical place. Beautiful river going through it, steep hills of agave. Um, Pasiano Cruz Nolasco makes this one. Um, his son actually may have taken over production of it already. I'm not quite sure about that, but his family's been making mezcal there for generations and some of the most beautiful expressions um, that are being imported to the States right now. Uh, Delma Gay Vita, one that you've probably seen around, maybe had in a cocktail or something, that was always one of their goals was to make a high quality delicious mezcal without adding water that they could make at an affordable price. This is one of the ones that really revolutionized mezcal in America. Um, and the amount of this that they're making and the way that they're making it and the price they're selling it for, it's nothing short of a miracle. Um, this is a nice one just to have at your house to mix for guests or just to sip on by itself. Uh, they're still using natural yeast. They're still roasting everything underground. They're still doing a lot of stuff that some of the highest end mezcals are doing, but they're doing it at an affordable price and they're making just an ocean of it. It's really incredible. Um, there's a ton of info on their website. Uh, if you would like to go check that out, there's cool videos, a uh, bunch of different links you can look at. I, I highly recommend their website. This is, you know, I think of Ron Cooper as a little bit like Walt Disney. Um, and this is like, his Disneyland had created and everything's really high tech but also still really well done. Um, the flight for this month will be San Luis del Rio, Minero, and Chichicapa. Those are kind of their core villages that they first started bringing into the states um, and this was Ron kind of talked about it kind of like single malt whiskey, this single village mezcal. Uh, and like I said, I was, I just thought they were different varietals of agave. And then I started to learn about these villages and again, the beautiful people and families that have been making it um, in these wonderful places. Uh, so you'll get three quarter ounces of each of these. We'll do it for 18 bucks. Um, very different from the Bonnez one if you guys came down and enjoyed that one. Um, these are, these are a, a little different style of mezcal from the Bonnez flight. I encourage you to ask your bartender about it. Zeke, Tina, Eric, anybody who's back here um, loves talking about this stuff. So please rattle their cage when, the, when they're back here. And 
I hope you get to come down soon to enjoy some agave spirits from Little Conejo. Thanks for your time. Cheers.